Curious about what business intelligence is and why we use it? In today's video, we'll dive deep into what BI is and explore the reasons why you can't just skip it in 2024. Hey there, I'm Yevgen. You are at our Market Analytics with Omox BI YouTube channel, where we speak all things about marketing, analytics, and data. It's your go-to source for crafting marketing strategies that power up your business engine. So, if you are all about making data, my friend, please subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of the insights to drive better business decisions. With this being said, let's get straight into it. What is BI? BI is about harnessing the power of data your business has. Then we prepare, visualize, analyze, and act on that data in order to make smart business decisions. BI is a master chef for your data. Imagine every piece of data your business has, from sales figures to customer interaction on social media, it's an ingredient. BI is the recipe. It's how you mix those ingredients to cook the meal of insights. BI is a process, it's about slicing and dicing this data, serving it up in a way that's easy to digest so you can spot the insights to making sharper, more informed decisions that drive growth. That's basically it. There are four stages of BI. Data collection, data preparation, data visualization, and finally, action. Sounds quite intuitive and straightforward, but in practice, you might have a lot of challenges on your way. Let's dive a bit deeper into each of them. So, stage number one is all about data collection. Here is the deal. Companies generate tons of data. Website activity, social media, ads, sales, events, webinars, basically anything. The problem is, those data is stored in different systems that might not speak to each other. Data is disconnected, mismatched what we, as analysts, call siloed. That is why it's extremely hard to get a 360-degree 300, view of how your business is performing in all its aspects without having multiple reports for each specific thing. What we really need is to get all of those data together to the same place to start getting the clearer picture. Well, we'll definitely talk more about data collection in the next videos so please subscribe to this channel so you don't want to miss it out. I'll also leave the link to our newest modern data management guide in the description to this video. But let's imagine you have all of your data collected. Dozens if not hundreds of tables stored ideally in a data warehouse. But they are still not speaking to each other. Those are just random tables with data. That's when data preparation comes into place. Some people call it data transformation, but for marketers, the end goal is to make a decision based on a reliable report. That's why it's more a stage of preparing the data for reporting, kind of cooking the data. What is that? Think of having all of the advertising campaign performance across channels in one report. You need to blend data to get it. That's a transformation process. Or if you want to match ad campaigns with conversions from Google Analytics, You'll need to collect on-site events into sessions and then merge with costs of your campaigns. You'll need to transform the data to get it. Or in attribution modeling, you want to credit your channels accordingly to your business logic, and in order to do so, you'll need a set of data transformations as well. Basically, there are so, so many use cases of data preparation and transformation, and we'll cover all of them in the specific video on this channel. But for now, let's just remember that if you want to make data speak to each other, be visualized in the same report, you'll need to cook your data, not just throw in the ball. Next, what about the visualization part? As I said, the end result of the analytics for marketers is a report or dashboard containing visual representations of metrics and KPIs. It's basically about two things, measuring the progress towards the goal and comparing to the past periods. That's what you need to visualize, and that is how you can measure your business's performance. When visualizing your data, it makes it easier to read, understand, and make decisions. Basically, the dashboard is a way of telling a story, the story of your data, but also 
the story of the whole business is performance. A dashboard gives a snapshot of metrics and KPIs by different dimensions and helps identify the areas where you are doing well and those that might need some more attention from your side and investigation. Once we've got all of the data together, prepared and visualized, it's time for the action stage, when we read the results of the report and see what we can learn. Sure, every business is different, with different data, different questions to ask, different metrics to measure in order to answer those questions. But let's take a closer look at the dashboard template we've built with some real data. This dashboard contains some real advertising spend data for an e-commerce business. It's a fairly small sample size, but you can see that we've broken down the main KPIs, costs, revenue, conversions in different stages of the sales funnel, clicks, adds to carts, checkouts, and finally sales. And all of that is dimensioned by various things like month, day, week, device, and filter applied. We've also used color scale to be able to look at the KPIs together and act upon the red ones. The data visualized on the dashboard I've shared gives us ideas and found for thought of things that we could try to change. Actions that we may not have had without having our data visualized, and that's exactly what I mean by actions. If you want to grab the template you've seen before, I drop the link in the description to this video. Thanks for watching it, that's it for this video. I hope now you have a better understanding of what business intelligence is, its stages and challenges you might encounter on your way. Again, thanks for having me here today. If you'd like to learn more about things like data, analytics and visualization, just don't forget to subscribe to our channel and I'll see you making data-informed decisions in your business.